My name is Chris Cabrera, and I'm a storyteller with the National Geographic Marine Mammal Project team currently aboard the EV Nautilus. Together with the Ocean Exploration Trust and the National Geographic Society, we have spent the last two weeks building on decades of scientific studies and centuries of indigenous knowledge about marine mammals in the Hawaiian Islands as part of the From Shore to the Abyss program. Led by National Geographic explorer Matthias Hoffman-Kunt, our international team joined EV Nautilus to test new technology to study cetacean vocalization in the waters off Maui, Lanai, and Hawaii Island. This experience has been wonderful. So we managed to get a lot of dolphin recording data. They have been here at a certain point almost every day, and they vocalize, some quiet, some not so. So it's really nice experience to be with them. Yeah, it's definitely a pleasure to be working with all sorts of people that are very professional in their job and respecting each other and helping each other. Along the journey, we are also creating educational resources for middle school students to foster the explorer mindset and scientific inquiry in the next generation of marine mammal researchers. Moving beyond recording of underwater soundscapes generally, we've deployed a brand new technology to research local pods of dolphins and whales as they interact. The specialized array combines three synchronized hydrophones, allowing the team to triangulate which individual animals are vocalizing within a pod for the first time. When recorded with videos of animals' behavior, these audio tracks will help researchers understand how marine mammals communicate within and across family groups. Just listen to this amazing clip of spinner dolphins vocalizing. This is exactly the type of recording these technologies were made to help analyze, pinpointing sound source to help tease apart the mysteries of cetacean communication. There's so much activity happening on the boat. As Matthias jumps in the water, the rest of the team carefully lowers the additional equipment that will be deployed. It truly is a team effort. What we wouldn't have been able to pull this off without the help of both the shark team and of course the crew of the Nautilus pulling heavy stuff out of the water, driving us wherever we wanted to go, being ready at five o'clock in the morning. It was amazing. Spending time with one of the most common of Hawaii's 22 species of cetaceans, the Hawaiian spinner dolphin, the team used a wide variety of research methods like long-term seafloor mounted audio arrays, swimming handheld high-frequency hydrophones, photo identification of individual animals, and behavioral observation. Building on the many years of knowledge and observations of marine mammals by communities and ocean lovers, this expedition's technology is pioneering a better understanding of cetacean communication and levels of human noise pollution in marine ecosystems. For example, check out this recording of noise pollution. This is what cetaceans are trying to communicate through. In the future, the team plans to use underwater soundscape recording in different nearshore environments to analyze possible animal behavior changes in response to the noise of human activities, like from shipping vessels. Throughout this pilot project, we've learned how to optimize deployment and enhance data collection with this apparatus, which will enable achieving new insights into our underwater world. And I know how special this place is, particularly because you don't get guaranteed six days out of the week, flat water and sunlight and good conditions for working. And having the people jump in cross projects and being able to help out whenever needed, you know, both ways when we needed something, they were ready to jump in and say, hey, can we, can we participate in your project, which was great. Otherwise, we would not have been able to do all what we did. National Geographic Society is funding this explorer-led project and four others aboard EV Nautilus to improve our understanding of Hawaii's unique ecosystems, inform conservation efforts, and inspire the next generation of explorers and planetary stewards.